Blind, in honor of this being the European Open, please take us away. Alright, hello guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this European Open 2013 semi-finals match. Meow versus Legendary Snails. Played here on the map starting over on Whale with Meow up in the Northern Patrol and the Alien Snail starting over in Cargo. Alright, and over here in Topo, we've got three Marines building on power and res. While two of the Skulks are harassing over in West Junction, it does look like they're going to go for major res early, spreading infestation to both Nano Grid and into Pipeline. Oh yeah, that's a little bit a little bit more greedy than usual when you only try to cap Nano Grid. So good point there. Risky, but also rewarding if the Marines don't take it out fast enough, so it can pay off definitely for them. Got a gorge up in Nano Grid. The two RTs already dropped. Some Hydras being placed down, and what looks to be a whip to help protect as well. We do have combat over in Skylight though, as Dams takes down Slip Jack, and we'll go after that RT in Skylights. Also, great pick one of the three Marines inside C12 East Junction. Really helping out. I I thought really having three Marines was good, especially versus that pipeline RT. So if there's two cappers in C12 and one or two will go continue to pipeline, this will definitely help out. But hold on, C12, big ambush coming in by snails. And you know, one of the things I have to say I really am impressed with here is the fact that Eagle Eye got babbled up before he went in. So even though there was three skulks, just to have that extra protection on him to engage with the Marines this early on. I feel is a great move on the aliens part. I mean, this isn't anything necessarily unique that we're seeing right now as far as starting strat on Veil. I think it's pretty much always the same strat on Veil, unless you're going for a rush of some kind. Um, but the aliens are definitely trying to put as much pressure on the RTs as they can. Yeah. And the bubble part is really right. Um, just figured it out. And actually, Christy told me yesterday he invented and everyone's copying it. <laughs> I can't really judge from there. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you see it much more often, the usage of babblers, they really help out a lot. That's completely Well, the babblers didn't help in that situation as Eagle Eye does go down to uh, Raylo. And Raylo going back into C12, there's a drifter in there. He'll take that down and maybe get the power up. Over here in System Waypointing, though, they have gone for early phase tech and they're trying to get a phase get up and waypointing. Drifter floating around in here with four, uh, four skulks oh, in a gorge. God. Making their way in, and now the enzyme going off. And unfortunately, I don't believe that any Marine to walk into this room is going to meet uh, a happy party. Wow, that was lucky timing. I mean, the, you could see the aliens were trying to go on Nano or East Side. They were already grouping up by Junction North. But this drifting system spotted those Marines. They could see the power node. They could see maybe the blueprint. I don't. I'm not sure what they saw. But um, there were two Marine system clearing that out. Definitely a big blow towards Meow because they really banked upon having this fast face gate there. Going for fast face tag, um, you really need to get this one up. Otherwise, if you still sit on like three RTs for half the game, that's gonna be really bad. Now, one of the things that uh, Meow tried and was unsuccessful that people saw there on the video was that Raylo was trying to get a phase gate up in Pipeline, which looks to be the natural expansion for this alien team. Um, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> one of the, uh, it looked like, a, gosh, I don't remember who that was. King Yo got in there and was able to take down that expansion phase gate, just like this one here in East Junction. And that's, you know, that's unfortunate because going early phase stick, if you can't get that phase gate up, you are in some serious trouble. Exactly, because they're really back up on that. So two or three phase gates already denied. This does not look good for me out. They need to get up one of those gates. Um, but we've seen that several times on Vale. For example, one of the... I think best turnaround games I've seen was with Sonoman. Uh, they were really bad start, couldn't get a face get up, but then they managed to get up the dome and after that they completely turned it around. That was in the Nations Cup Finals and maybe the same can happen on Meow now. We've got three Marines in system waypointing again, getting the power back up. Four Marines now, the rest of the aliens over on the other side of the map. Coming quickly though to support Ray as Lurk actually taking quite a bit of damage. And uh, they're still working on that power. I don't think they're going to get a phase get up at this point. I would have to fight oh. first, but oh <laughs> my god, two Marines are... Oh no! Yeah, I just, you know, that many aliens, it's too hard to focus your fire and take them all down. I mean, if they'd done it, it would have been awesome. But, 
Now the aliens are sitting on four extractors, working on the fifth right now in C-12. And, you know, I just feel like the Marines didn't get a good footing to start off this game. And unless uh, they can do something quick, they're going to be in trouble. They do have uh, their OBS and Armory plumped right next to each other and base next to an IP. So they went for the second IP right away. No Arms Lab. And I really feel like teams that don't go for the Arms Lab right away in most situations, it doesn't work out well for them. Wouldn't you agree? Um, yeah, if you don't get a gate up. I mean, it really depends upon denying it. And Snails reacted perfectly every single time. On the other hand, if the first fast phase gate gets up on maps like Vale, um, it can definitely turn out if you have delayed upgrades. But right now, they have pretty much nothing. They didn't get the gate up. They didn't get upgrades. They're sitting on only shotguns because that's the only desperate attempt to come back this game, killing some, you know, killing like the whole alien team and shotguns will help them out. But if they lose that again, they, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much it already because the fates will pop right then. Yeah, they're definitely hoping the shotguns are going to help because this whole team is loaded with shotguns, making their way through West Junction, down to system waypointing, and uh, this Lurk is doing a really good job of harassing the armor on all these marines. Oh, same time counter push towards the base. Two skulls coming in. All the marines out of position. No, wait, Rhino is in the base. Oh, he could be the lifesaver. No, oh, no, but Eagle look at gets that. Him. And there are those babblers yet again. They're going to try to get the phase gate up before coming back. Uh, does look like... Uh, shoot, I didn't even see who that was. Uh, Arrows got out of the chair. Phase gate goes up in Y Junction. Back to base and dead they all are. They'll take down those Hydras and move right back to Y Junction. And now, I don't know, something could really change here with five shotgunners moving down to cargo. That is a shotgun rush. Pretty desperate situation here for them, but I can't make it work. The Hydras are whip safe. They dropped whips. Really nice idea, but they're not finished yet. The troopers are trying to build them while he's dying, going down. Oh, they've got, to, they've got to take that down. Ray's doing a great job here by killing all the armor, also pick up one of the marines, and here we go, big engagement, the Skulks are closing in! Oh! Now they took him down, and wow, they're going for the GG right away, I don't... I don't necessarily feel like they had to, but again, with the arms lab not even built in here, 